Hello everybody, this is Officer Ryland with the Colorado Springs Police Department. Today I want to teach you how to draw a very simple police car. So we're going to start by drawing a rectangle here. So you can see this is going to be your body, or the body of the car, the main part of the car. Then I'm going to draw a second rectangle on top, just to a little bit of one side or another. Uh, just because I like to have the hood of the car be a little longer than the trunk part of the car. Then I'm going to draw rectangles here. So I just connected those two lines. And that's going to be your windscreen or your windshield. And then your back rear view. I don't know what you call that. Rear window, I guess. As you can see, I like working with the whiteboard because if I make a mistake, it's real easy to just erase and to continue on and there's no stress of having to do it perfect the first time. So now I'm gonna draw the tires. Uh, I put the front tire um, ah, just a, a little bit back from the front and then the back tire the same and then I erase the lines. So it's literally just a circle, I'm making a little hubcap, maybe some accent lines so it looks like it's a wheel. And then here's where the fun part begins. So you have the base of your car already. Now you can draw a different kind of front or hoods and grills and all that kind of stuff, however you want it. You can try different things. You can see I tried one and I didn't like it. So I'm gonna try something else, make it a little more racy uh, and uh, looking, looking all right. So I'm going with that for now. I'm drawing a really easy headlight, which is just another circle, and then the grill, which is just uh, whatever design you want to make. Here I'm just kind of marking out where I think the doors would be on the car, and now the fun part, making it a police car with the lights on top. Again, that's just a rectangle. Um, so don't don't overthink it. You're just making shapes right, right now and putting them together. This is just my rear view mirror. Um, or side view mirror, excuse me. Now I might put some words on it just to make people, you know, show that it's a police car. I'm gonna, maybe I'll draw a star up here for like a sheriff's car. Go and um, kind of hint at that little circle that goes around the, the star. And then I'm just kind of thinking whether or not I like that angle. Um, and again, this is why I love uh, learning to draw on a whiteboard because you get a lot of learning. And if you make a mistake, it's real easy to erase it and just start all over and just erase parts and start all over. And this is where you get a lot of your learning um, and your experience in drawing um, because really a lot of drawing is just practice. Um, I've always kind of thought that anybody could learn how to draw. I know there are some people that are just insanely talented and uh, but I do think that most people can learn how to draw just by practicing. So again I made a little exhaust pipe but I didn't like the exhaust uh, coming out of there so I changed that. Made a little spoiler. Now I'm trying to add a little accent line showing that the car is going fast and uh, yeah, make some movement lines there. Um, here I'm just thinking about, don't really like the headlight, thinking maybe I'll change that a little bit. And just, it's so much fun because you can just do whatever you want. I'm like, nope, that definitely didn't work. <laughs> so I'm gonna try again here. Yeah, I'm gonna make it more flush with the hood there. I think that looks all right. And then I'm going to put a push car, push bar on the car because obviously it's a police car. I like the push bars. And there we go. Very, very simple, easy to draw a police car. And all you're doing is drawing two rectangles and then connecting them with a triangle and then two circles. Okay, now that we've drawn a simple side view of a police car, Let's add a little bit of perspective, meaning it's 
looking like it's moving backward or forward in space. So we're going to draw it from the front left corner, the front driver side corner. And again, I'm just making square. So in my mind, it's making a square. And now this one um, is the base, just like the other one. And then I'm going to put another cube, I guess, at this point right on top. Oops. So I want this line to be parallel with those front lines of my other square or cube, the body of my car. So I make that line parallel, and then these two will be parallel. Then I connect, and then I'm trying to make this one pretty much parallel, if not going a little inward as it goes further away. Now I'm drawing my triangles, just like in the first video. <clears throat> And this is going to be my windshield. Now, if you want to remove some of the lines, it kind of helps you visualize what we have so far. So just by doing that, I'm going to draw this line again parallel to the front. And you can see it looks pretty much like a car. And all we've been doing is drawing shapes. So now we're going to, I just didn't like that angle, so I'm going to change that. Um, so here we can add the headlights, um, maybe round it off, put a bumper if you want, or there's the front grille. We'll add some texture. And then again, right here, you could round off those corners, change the shape if you want. But we're going to leave it for right now and just draw in the tires. Again, we're just drawing circles uh, about a quarter of the way back on each side. Um, quarter way back from the front, quarter way back from the rear. Uh, and then you can make however you want the hubcaps to be. Now this one can be a little tricky. Uh, again, you just got to look and make your lines parallel when you're doing the, the light bar on top of the car. So it's just, again, it's another box or a cube sitting on top of the car. Uh, and if you get confused, again, just look at your other lines make them go the same direction. There we go. We'll add some <clears throat> little lines here showing that the lights are on. And we got to add the exhaust pipe. And uh, so here's just your basic car. You can see again it's just simple little shapes. We'll add a rear view mirror, side view mirror. Um, Maybe we'll add a spoiler again just because it's fun. Got our spoiler. Although now it kind of looks like a pickup truck. But that's okay. So we add that little squiggly line, just kind of makes it look like glass. And we're going to draw on the doors a little bit here. Again, this is really quick. And there we go. Okay, now let's try something a little more tricky. So we've done a view from the side and a view from the front corner. Now let's do one from the front. So we're gonna draw that same square. Now the side of the square, we're gonna kind of bring in a backward motion like this. So they're both the same angle coming to meet at the end like that. So it's like we're staring straight forward at that square and it's disappearing in the back. So now we'll draw a line right about where we want the windscreen or the windshield to be. Draw a couple of lines coming up, and we do have to kind of angle those in a little bit because most cars do angle in with their windshield and going up to their roof. So there we go, and we'll erase just to kind of get what we're looking at. We can erase the back of the car because that's going to be covered by the roof. So I'm continuing my lines going back to that point towards the end, the back of the, the screen, the invisible horizon line there. Now we'll draw some circles for the headlights, real simple. And then if we want, we can throw in the grill here. You can see it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll add some texture, which is just some lines crossing over each other. <clears throat> now here we can, if we want, spend a little more time adjusting how we want the front 
of the car to look. Maybe we add a bumper, then we can erase, kind of get what it looks like here. And then uh, maybe, we, maybe we turn the bumper into a push bumper here. Um, <clears throat> add some reflection to the glass. And now the light bar on top again, just make a square right on top going from those lines that you already drew for the roof. And you have your light bar. Then we can add some lines showing that the lights are on. And you can't have a police car without a spotlight. So we'll draw a spotlight, maybe add a little bit of texture or lines for the roof and uh, squares for the wheels. Not really happy with that, but we'll add some shading. Again, I don't really like that a whole lot, so we'll grab the eraser and go through. <clears throat> Maybe we'll add some shading in a bit. Let's erase that push bar part coming down. It looks too much like a tire. And I'll redraw that tire. Uh, that tire seems like it's too close to the edge of the vehicle. Let's bring it in just a touch. There we go. So now we have our, our tires. Maybe I do want to add a touch of shading. There we go. And so let's just say we're done with the car. We want to add a little bit more to that white area. And so we can draw a real quick tree. It's just drawing a squiggly circle, literally, with some lines going up and meeting that circle. It gives the impression of a tree. There we go. There's a tree that's kind of behind the car. Here we add some clouds up here. Maybe a few birds flying in the background. Um, kind of looks like that tree is kind of too close to the car. So maybe we'll erase that. And we could do maybe a building. So it's driving down a road. So again, we're just looking straight on on the building, drawing our square. Yeah, I don't really, I like it more in the wilderness without building. So we'll change. Maybe we make a different kind of tree. So we'll do a, like a pine tree here, just over to one side, just squiggly lines on each side, and then you make a trunk. Maybe a few more clouds off in the distance. And there you go, finished car from front perspective.